What's up guys, I'm Weston Boucher and today I'm going to give you a beginner's guide to the gym. Obviously walking in the gym for the first time can be super intimidating or even unappealing. You might not feel like you relate to the people in there and you've never been like a workout person your whole life. But I'm here to help you to create some positive associations to that and realize it's an awesome place to get in shape and it's absolutely essential if you want to have your whole body you know, transformed to the aesthetic that you're after. Before I get too far along, I want to mention that I'm offering you a free download at the end of this video. It's called How to Eat, Train, and Supplement Like a Cover Model. Um, you may or may not know that I model professionally and I also was honored to be on the July issue of Men's Health. And so I'm hoping to take all the information and knowledge and wisdom over the years of how I've stayed in shape all year every year for the type of work I do and share that with you guys. So the link will be in the description below, so check that out. But let's get started. Okay guys, here we go. A beginner's guide to the gym. Number one, choosing a type of gym. So there's a few different types of gyms and they're all awesome and it's always good to find something that keeps you engaged and that you're into. But I'm gonna break them down so you can kind of figure that out for yourself and I'll let you know what works for me. So number one are chain gyms, uh, LA Fitness, 24 Hour Fitness, etc. Those gyms are gonna have a variety of things that you can do um, inside the gym itself. Um, everything from traditional weightlifting to cardio to circuit training and whatnot. Um, next would be something like a circuit training gym that's only that, which is like Orange Theory Fitness or a boot camp of sorts. And the third would be a CrossFit style gym. So what's the right fit for you? We have circuit gyms, we have chain gyms, and we have CrossFit. So with the circuit gyms like Orange Theory and F45, they're gonna be usually really quick, you know, one hour, they're instructor led. So if you're not sure about what to do, that's all taken care of. It's gonna be group style, which is great because that's another motivator. They just help you get through the workout, stay motivated and the accountability that comes with that. It's obviously great for beginners because it's totally lead and it takes out all the guesswork. And there's a lot of variety to it because they're gonna be um, having you go from doing cardio based stuff to weight training and everything in between. Um, and this is also gonna be something that is scheduled. So there is sometimes a drawback to that because you have to um, kind of do it according to their schedule, obviously. Um, okay, so next we have a chain gym. Um, that's gonna give uh, you the ability to do whatever you want. So it's totally freestyle. Um, you have access to all training equipment at any given time. Um, the hours are obviously gonna be like no schedule, um, the 24 hour, for example, hence the name, they're always open. So that's really helpful sometimes if you just have like a schedule that's all over the place, you wanna do your own thing. Um, and they also have things like classes uh, available if you do choose to do that. Um, or you can just go solo style, go in the gym, do weight training one day, uh, do cardio the next, just all up to you. Um, they do have trainers available, obviously, so there's that as well. Um, and they're much more affordable than uh, typically a circuit gym or a CrossFit gym would be. Um, but you do have to um, have a plan. Like I said, if you're going to go in there, you can't just go in with nothing. Um, and lastly, you have CrossFit, which is going to be, in my opinion, something that's, uh, if you really like camaraderie and being able to push each other and, and really work towards goals together, this is a great option for you. Um, it's going to be made up of a lot of compound lifts. So it's going to be a lot of deadlifts and cleans and, and a lot of presses and different things that are barbell related kettlebells. Um, they do work in rowing machines and other things, uh, but overall, the, the way I would think of it is it's a muscle endurance type of thing. Um, it is uh, short, shorter as well. Sometimes it can be a 20-minute workout or an hour workout, depends on the gym and the classes they're going to offer, but it is scheduled, so that's another thing. But some CrossFit gyms do open style, where if you have uh, a membership already, you can go at any time you choose. Um, I will say though that if um, you have um, past injuries, uh, maybe knee problems, things like that, you have to just be aware that um, you could be a little. It could be a little bit risky to to do CrossFit unless you're really careful and you really take you know let let the trainer know or the, whoever's leading the class that you really got to go easy on it because um, there is a lot of impact with this type of of gym and this uh, style of training. I personally like to have a chain gym at my disposal. Uh, the reason is is that I like the variety that it offers so I can customize all my goals uh, for fitness and how I want my physique to look throughout the year 
and I like to have the ability to do traditional weightlifting, cardio, and circuit kind of all in one place. All right, now that you've chosen your gym, let's talk about number two, which is what are your health and fitness goals? Is it just purely your physique? Is it strength training? Is it muscle endurance? Is it cardiovascular? Um, or is it just because you want to look and feel better? So regardless of what your goals may be, if you're new to the gym, I highly recommend that you start with a progression, gradually. So what you want to do is start with body weight movements, um, use of the machines, and at least start doing that for you know two to three weeks to just get a base level on your body and strength and see how you feel because uh, if you just go hard right away, you're gonna burn out and you're probably gonna injure yourself. So with that, you wanna just uh, try to work your way towards dumbbells and eventually barbell lifts like deadlifts and squats, but I wouldn't go directly into that if you don't have experience with proper form and whatnot. All right, number four. So one of the worst things that you can do is just walk into the gym totally unprepared and have no idea where to begin, what machine to go to, what body part movement, or whatever you're doing. It's gonna completely overwhelm you, and you'll probably just do a few exercises and leave early. That's not what we want. So um, I should mention that I do have an upcoming ebook called The Year Round Six Pack, How I Train, and that is gonna go into what I do all week long in terms of splitting up muscle groups, how many exercises, the reps, and all the cardio and everything in between. So I, whether or not you get my plan is up to you, but I do highly suggest that you walk into the gym with something in front of you, either on your phone or print it out or whatever you like to do where you take notes about your, your progress. Just go in and know, okay, today I'm gonna be here for 45 minutes or two hours and this is what I'm gonna do. Here's the sets, here's the reps, here's the exercises. Um, and that way it'll ensure that you don't leave too early and that you get a really good um, full workout. All right, number five, break it up. So most workout routines center around muscle groups at different times of the week. And that is really, really helpful because you don't want to over, overwhelm your body by just hitting everything at the beginning of the week. Um, and you want to try to work with things that are opposing on your body. It's going to give ample rest and it's just going to complement the overall workout. For example, uh, maybe it's Monday and I'm going to hit chest and legs both opposing i got upper body and lower body or maybe you prefer to do something where you do all lower body the back half of the week and all upper body the first half of the week you just have to kind of gauge it on um, where you're at what you like to do and how your body responds number six so cardio is really really important i used to overlook it for many years and i only did weight training and i couldn't reach the aesthetic goals i was after so simply put Find a cardio machine or a form of cardio that's in the fat burn zone. Um, I talk about that in my uh, ebook about um, an optimal area of, of your heart rate to be at so you can burn more fat and your skin elasticity will improve. There's lots of things, there's lots of benefits. I won't go into um, all the details on it right now, but I will say that find something that keeps you engaged because cardio can be boring. So don't feel like you just have to do treadmill and Stairmaster, you can do outdoor activities as well. But I absolutely encourage you to pair that with your weight training all week long if you can. All right, number seven, you will get sore, but don't let that scare you, okay? It's just the initial couple weeks or so, that your body's not used to it, you're gonna feel like really achy and sore afterwards, but this is progress, so let it encourage you. Don't be intimidated by that, it will go away. And there's ways to really, really um, prevent it from being so intense, if at all anymore, um, as I train all year long. And that brings me to the next point, which is supplements. Um, there's really great supplements for recovery, so you don't have to have that awful feeling of being sore all the time. Uh, because I really wouldn't want to train and do this all year if it was like that. So it will, you will be sore at first, but don't worry. Um, I, I also want to ask you guys, um, if you want me to do a beginner's guide to supplements, comment below and just let me know. But in the meantime, there's a link in the description uh, to my Amazon shop, and that does include all the supplements I currently take. Um, certain ones are better for recovery than others, but again, comment below and I'll talk about that in detail for you guys as well. Lastly, guys, remember, I'm here to help you. So don't get discouraged. 
Don't think you're not a gym person. The gym is an awesome resource to have and I assure you it's well worth it. You can still do a lot of outdoor activities and things you love to do. I love beach volleyball, I love being outside, I love the outdoors. So um, remember, it's you've got to create positive associations with the gym and make it work for you, make it fun, get your best playlist on in those headphones and get into the gym with a plan and you're gonna have a great time, you're gonna love the results. It's, it's big picture, you gotta have all these elements to really, really get to the aesthetic goals that you see some people and you're like, how do they get to that point? I've realized that by looking up to other people that um, I've idolized over the years in terms of their physique and whatnot, and they've encouraged me as well. So hopefully I'm um, able to be that resource for you guys as well. Um, I will mention that, again, that you should download the free ebook that I mentioned earlier in this video. The link is in the description below. That's going to give you some of the overall concepts um, of you know how to train, eat, and supplement like a cover model. I want to say that if you do decide to purchase one of my training plans, one benefit is a private Facebook group that I'm going to be active on and other members are going to be active on so that we can all come together kind of in a community fashion and just ask questions, see progress, encourage each other. Um, so when you purchase those products, you will get a link to that private uh, group and that will be super helpful for you guys. Um, so yeah, that's it. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Be sure to subscribe as I'm going to have more videos each and every week. I will see you next time. On that tightrope, I'll be there to break your fall.